In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning to everyone. Good morning, Father. Ako po si Father Roy. I am Father Roy Rodriguez, isang paring Dominican from Santo Domingo Church, Quezon City. Father Arthur Pestin, isang Dominican from UST, and si Father Mike Salazar. And on behalf of the Dominican community here in the Rosary Manawag, Welcome to the fifth Novena Mass in honor of Our Lady of Manawag. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for the sacred celebration, let us call to mind our sins and be sorry for them. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lord God, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God our Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, grant that the Church, the Bride of Christ, may keep unbroken the new covenant of love, and like your humble handmaid who presented to you in the temple the author of the new law, may the Church keep its faith unspotted, grow in hope of heaven, and deepen its heartfelt love for you. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. The Lord says, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to my temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. Lift up your heads, O gates. Rise up your ancient portals, that the King of glory may enter. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, a mighty warrior, the Lord mighty in battle. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. Lift up your heads, O gates. Rise up you ancient portals, that the King of glory may enter. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. Who is this King of glory? 
The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. Please stand. Jesse's shoot has blue, blossomed, a virgin who has given birth to one who is truly God and truly human. God has restored our peace, reconciling him in himself earth with heaven. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mga kaibigan, lagi nating naririnig, charity begins at home. Paulit-ulit nating naririnig yan, charity begins at home. At hindi naman natin may tatanggi. Natuto tayong magmahal at nakaranas tayo ng pagmamahal right from the very start within the confines of our own home. Sa katunayan, the first form of security, ang unang seguridad na naranasan ang bawat isa sa atin nang tayo nasa sinapupunan pa lamang ng ating ina. That's the kind of security we're so sure of. Kaya nga ba, lapat na lapat ang awitin ng Apo Hiking Society. Nang tanga ng nanay ang munting mga kamay, ikay tuwang tuwa. Panatag ang loob sa damdamin, ikay mahal. We felt being loved right from the very side of the womb of our mother. And the first form of security, naranasan natin yan sa sinapupunan ng ina. Binuwag ang pananaw ni Santiago Apostol sa kaniyang viewpoint. You don't work, you don't eat. Diba? You don't work, you don't eat. Sa Pinoy, walang bigas, manigas. But look how that kind of principle was destroyed sa konteksto ng pagmamahal ng isang ina sa kanyang anak. Hindi magtatrabaho ang bata. Nine months, kukuyakoy-lakoy lang ang bata sa sinapupunan ng kanyang ina. So secure of the kind of life na meron siya. And no wonder after nine months, paglabas ng bata sa sinapupunan ng ina, anong unang reaksyon? Anyone here nang lumabas sa kanyang ina, humahagikiki, <laughs> tuwan-tuwa nang lumabas. What is the initial reaction? Figuratively, umiiyak. Umiiyak ang bata. Kasi hindi na siya sure sa buhay na kanyang tatahakin. And he's so secure sa sinapupunan ng isang ina sa loob ng isang pamilya. No wonder, charity begins at home. Subalit may sundot ang ebanghelyo natin sa araw na ito. Charity begins at home, but... It should never end there. Charity begins at home, but it should never end there. Nakita natin yan sa katauhan ng Maria. Angel Gabriel appeared to Mary. Mary, you will be the mother of Jesus. Nagigig kang ina ng anak ng Diyos. And what a surprise for Mary. So balit may karugtong na balita ang anghel. Ang iyong pinsan, Elizabeth of old age, matanda na, manganganak din, maglilihi, manganganak din. And look at the kind of orientation Mary has. I will be the mother of God. Si Elizabeth Pinsan ko, matanda na. She went out of her comfort zone. 
Off she went. Hindi sa malapit at malayo, nagbiyahe si Maria para tulungan ang kanyang pingsang Elizabeth sa paglilihi at sa pagiging isang buntis na magiging isa ring ina. Getting out of her comfort zone in order to reach out. And that's what you call charity. Isang pagpaalala sa bawat isa sa atin. What Mary has that kind of beautiful virtue. Charity, pagmamahal sa ibang kao, getting out of your comfort zone. Mahal kita, mahal ko ang aking sarili, subalit, I have to get out of my comfort zone. And that's something very, very important. Sapagat sa pananaw ng Hudyo, unang-una, akala nila ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay para lamang sa kanila. Akala ng mga Hudyo, si Jesus ay para lang sa bayan ng Israel. You're familiar with the two pillars of the church, San Pedro at si San Pablo. Akala ni San Pedro, si Jesus na manunubos at tagapagligtas ay para lang sa bayan ng Israel. Kami-kami, tayo-tayo. Not in the viewpoint of St. Paul. Sapagkat sa paniniwala ni San Pablo, kapag ikaw ay nakarinig ng magandang balita, kakati ang iyong dila. Kapag ikaw ay nakarinig ng magandang balita, kakati ang iyong dila. That's why St. Paul was so passionate about it. Kaya napapansin nyo, pag kayo nakikinig sa pagbasa, the scriptures, yan po ay binubuo ng parang isa siyang library, 72 books. The scriptures composed of 72 books, two major divisions, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Yung Old Testament, 45 books. Yung New Testament, 27 books. And among the 27 books, naririnig nyo misa ng mga pagbasa. Pagbasa sa sulat ni San Pablo sa mga taga-Korinto. Naririnig nyo yan? Pagbasa si San Pablo sa mga taga-Tesalonica, sa mga taga-Romano, sa mga taga-Koloso, taga-Efeso. These are the different communities pinuntahan ni San Pablo upang ipahayag. Hindi mga Hudyo. Hindi mga Hudyo. Iba-ibang komunidad upang ipahayag ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sapagkat hindi pwedeng kami-kami, tayo-tayo. That's something very tempting. Kami-kami, tayo-tayo. Subalit, Mary is teaching us a different story. Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay para sa lahat. Love knows no boundaries. Madaling maintindihan ng Pinoy, lalo-lalo na sa konteksto ng ang aking pagmamahal, Singlalim ng karagatan, sinlawak ng kalangitan. Sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, ang aking pagmamahal, hindi iisang dangkal, pagkaliit-liit, hindi iisang dipa. Everybody, brace yourselves. Parang yung krusipiyo. How much do I love you? I love you this much. Malawak na malawak. I love you. No boundaries. Ang pagmamahal ko ay para sa lahat. That is exactly what you mean by Catholic. Catholics. Alam niyo po, ang salitang katoliko ay salitang griego. Universal. Ang salitang katoliko, hindi natin matatagpuan sa Biblia. Bakit? Sa pagkatay mga katoliko, this is our viewpoint. I hope everyone knows this one. Ang ating bataya ng pananampalataya ay hindi lamang ang scriptures. Sapagat sa ating paniniwala, ang scriptures ay written tradition. Tradisyong isinulat. For the fundamentalists and some and protestants, sola scriptura. Scriptures lang. Lahat ng hindi nasusulat dyan, hindi paniniwalaan. But as Catholics, we believe ang scriptures later na nangyari. Bago maisulat, marami muna ang mga marites. Nagkwentuhan. These are all the oral traditions. Catholic, wala sa scriptures. It's coined by St. Ignatius of Antioch. Ang ibig sabihin ay universal. Para sa lahat. At ang Diyos pag nagmahal, para sa lahat. Very Catholic. Very concretely. Ito po ay parokya ng Our Lady of Manawag. Dahil Catholic, ang pwedeng sumimba dito sa Manawag, hindi lamang taga rito sa parokya ng Manawag. Hindi lamang taga-diocese, anong diocese ito, dito sa Pangasinan. Hindi lamang taga-rito. Ang pwede lang sumimba dito, hindi lamang ho, Pinoy. 
Napansin ninyo, sa pagkatayad live to believe, gaya namin tatlo, dayo, hindi ho kami taga rito, but we can celebrate Mass with the permission of the Superior. Pumunta kayo sa Japan, pumunta kayo sa Korea, pumunta kayo sa Germany, iba ang salita. Maaring hindi natin naiintindihan na kung anong salita, but because we are Catholics and there is a Mass, alam natin kung anong parte ng Misa. Ah, first reading. Ah, nagsesermon yung pari. Ah, offertory. Ah, consecration. That's the universal character para sa lahat. Because we are Catholics, it's also very, very clear. Pag may lumapit, kumatok at humingi ng tulong sa simbahan, dahil tayo Catholics, hindi natin tatanungin, anong sekta mo? Anong relihiyon mo? Ang pwede lamang ay ang katoliko ang ating tatanggapin. Because we are Catholics, para sa lahat. Pagbuwag, kami-kami, tayo-tayo. And structurally, that is being told to us. Kaya nga ba't sinasabi, naging sa sistema natin, sa mga magulang na naririto. You notice the structure sociologically. Parents, sa mga magulang na naririto. Parents, you belong to your children, but your children do not belong to you. I hope maliwanag ko sa lahat iyan, ang magulang ay para sa anak, subalit ang anak ay hindi para sa magulang. Why? Because they have their own lives to live. Sapagkat hindi pwedeng kami-kami. Otherwise, yapusin nyo ng todo ng inyong mga anak. They will die of suffocation in your hands. That's why for the parents who are here, sinasabing there are two best gifts, dalawang pinakamagandang biyaya na may bibigay na sa inyong mga anak. Bigyan nyo ng ugat, bigyan nyo ng pakpak. You give them roots. Pundasyon ng pagmamahalan, ipakilala ang Diyos, being together. That's why when a family starts, it's always, it's always start small. Tatlo ho kami magkakapatid na lalaki. Puro lalaki. Pinang, nang, nang, kinasal ako nung bilang pari, 95. Ikinasal ko ang bunso, 1996. Yung kuya ko nung 1997. Panuntunan sa bahay namin, Bawal ang dalawang reyna. Kaya, na mag-asawa aking kapatid, no matter how small, they had to live separately. For a very simple reason, they get to know each other as a family. And a very optimistic principle, sa pananaw ni Santo Tomas, mas nagkakakilalanan, mas nagmamahalan. Bigyan nyo ng ugat. Subalit, hindi sapat ang puro ugat. Miski kayo, tingnan nyo ho ang inyong mga binti. Ayaw niya ng varicose veins. Anyone here who is proud of the varicose veins, kailangan tanggalin. Gusto niyo rin ang pakpak. Give them wings. They have their own lives to live. And mind you, dahil binigyan niyo ng pakpak at binigyan niyo ng ugat, anumang layo ang narating, Singapore, Australia, Europe, America, dahil binigyan niyo ng ugat, babalik at babalik ang mga iyan sapagat ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay para sa lahat. And that's something very important. Alam nyo, the Philippines was discovered in 1521. 1521. Now is 2023. 502 years na pala tayo bilang isang Christian nation. And sometimes, lagi natin pinagsasabi, the Philippines is the only Catholic country in the Far East. Yun ba yun? isang karangalan o isang palaisipan? Isa ba yung karangalan o isa bang palaisipan? Sapagkat we are tempted to ask, if the Philippines is a Catholic nation for 502 years, bakit tayo lang? Bakit tayo lang? Kami-kami, tayo-tayo. Charity begins at home, but it should never end there. We all stand for the prayers of the faithful. Let us pray for our needs so that like Mary, we may respond generous to God in our daily lives. And for every petition, let us all say, Mary, full of grace, intercede for us.
Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For the Pope, bishops, priests, and religious leaders, that they may remain faithful and committed to the task of shepherding the faithful, especially those who have lost their way, that they may be led back to the path toward Jesus. We pray. That our government leaders may find inspiration in the life of Mary, who lovingly served the Lord in accepting the responsibility of bearing and raising the child Jesus. May they serve the people in the spirit of charity, putting aside their personal interest and advancing the common good of the people. We pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. That the love of God may incarnate in the world through the Virgin Mary, inspire us to share the same love with one another, especially to the poor and the marginalized in the society. We pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. Mary heeded the message of God unreservedly. May we, pa may we patiently discern that will of God for us in our daily lives and become a living witness of God's generosity to others. We pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For all of us gathered here, May the example of our Blessed Mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives. We pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For, our, for all the faithful departed, that they may see face to face the radiance of God's glory in heaven. We pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For our personal intentions and for the intentions of the devotees, of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. God, our Father, through the intercession of Mary, fill our hearts with your love, and as you revealed to us by your star the birth of your Son as man, so lead us through the sufferings and death to the glory of his resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given human and made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please ascend. For your brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, let our prayers and offerings be acceptable to you as we present them with joy in our hearts on this memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary who made the offering of the poor to redeem her son himself, the redeemer of us all, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. To the right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary. She is the virgin daughter of Zion, who in the fulfillment of the law, presents to you her son the glory of your people Israel and the light of all nations. She is the virgin, the handmaid of your plan of salvation, who presents to you the spotless lamb to be sacrificed on the altar of the cross for our salvation. She is the virgin mother who rejoices in this child of blessing, is saddened by the prophecy of Simeon, but who exalts that your people go out to meet their savior. In our joy, we sing to your glory with all the choirs of angels as we say, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fountain of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. 
by sending down your spirit upon them, let it do for so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have had us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, so please you throughout the ages. We merit to be course eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's Jesus. command and form by divine teaching, let us all together sing the Lord's Prayer. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graces you grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graces you grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other God's sign of peace. peace, peace. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we called to partake in his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat. Sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ang inyong dalawang kamay ang hostia at sumagot ng amen at isubo na agad ang hostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Let us pray. Lord God, granted by the power of the sacrament we have received, the Virgin Church, like the Virgin Mary, may serve you with undivided heart, be attentive to the voice of the Spirit, and with the lamp of faith burning brightly, go out with joy to meet the Bridegroom who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Together with my Cousin Brands, Father Art and Father Mike, and our dedicated volunteers, ako po'y nagpapasalamat sa inyong masiglang pakikilaw sa ating misa. 
Salamat sa inyong presensya. Salamat sa pasensya. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I see a number of families that are present. Bago ko po igawad ng aking bendisyon bilang isang pari for 28 years, I request the parents to bless your children. Mga anak, magmano kay mami, kay daddy, kay lolo at kay lola. Gawing Pinoy, maka magkalimutan dala ng pandemya. And as much as I am a Dominican and this is a Dominican church, Allow us to bestow on you our 13th century, our Dominican blessing. Please bow your heads. May God, our Father, bless us. May God, our Son, heal us. May God, our Holy Spirit, enlighten us and give us eyes to see with, ears to hear with, hands to do the work of God with, feet to walk with, and mouth to preach the word of salvation with. May the angel of peace watch over us and lead us at last to the Lord's gift of the kingdom. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go and remember, charity begins at home, but it should never end there. Thanks, Thanks be. be to God. We proceed with the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free from all illnesses and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, all and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.